Hello travel friends! Welcome and thanks for watching. Paris is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world and for good reason. There are so many amazing things to see and do in this city, from visiting world famous landmarks to exploring hidden gems. In this video, we'd like to share with you 10 things to do in Paris. We'll also give you some tips on how to make the most of your trip. So whether you're a first time visitor or a seasoned traveler, we hope you'll find this video helpful. Number one. Marvel at the stained glass in St. Chapelle. I think this is my favorite building in Paris. It's almost 800 years old and was originally built to hold the relics of Christ. The stained glass is absolutely amazing and it depicts 1,113 different scenes from the Bible. Now I found through some research that about two thirds of this stained glass is original and the rest had been sold off over the years. When I was there last year, it was actively being restored on the outside, which is good. Number two, push a boat in the Luxembourg Garden. This is probably my favorite place in Paris to relax and watch people. There's lots of chairs sitting out and opportunities for you to rest everywhere. And if you see it, go rent a boat and push it around the center of the pool. Or if you're not that lucky, you can at least watch other people do it. After you're all rested, if you're hungry, just across the street on the north side is our favorite restaurant, Le Petit Médicis. If you're looking for the best creme brulee in Paris, this is it. Number three, explore the maze of bones in the catacombs. This is definitely a unique place to visit. Paris has tunnels underneath the city that were originally stone quarries. This maze of tunnels is the new home to the remains of over six million people who were dug up, put here, just to make room in the crowded Parisian cemeteries. If you're over six feet tall like I am, make sure to watch your head or you may end up with a headache. Please hit that subscribe button. I know you want to. Number four, enjoy the beauty of the Notre Dame. We had the thrill of being able to visit the Notre Dame in 2018 before the tragic fire. We were able to go up to the bell tower and we got to be up close and personal with the gargoyles. This 800 year old cathedral is absolutely beautiful. If you have time for a day trip, we highly recommend you visit Versailles at least once in your life. It's a quick 45 minute metro ride on the RERC. Once there, rent a bike, go to the market, have a picnic, and go to the palace in the afternoon. If you happen to be there on a Tuesday, Friday, or Sunday morning, there's an open air market in addition to the regular market. The Palace of Versailles is closed on Monday, so make sure you plan this so you don't take a 45 minute train ride for nothing. Inside the palace is very busy in the morning. We recommend that you head over to the Hall of Mirrors, which is an awesome place inside the palace in the afternoon after lunch. It'll be less busy. Number six, marvel at the Eiffel Tower. You're gonna to wanna to do this during the day and at night when it's sparkling. It sparkles on the hour, every hour, beginning at sunset. During the day, go ahead and climb up to the top for some awesome views, or sit on the Champ de Mars for a nice place to have a picnic. Number seven, Ugo over all that art in the Louvre and the Musée d'Orsay. The Louvre can be very overwhelming as it is massive. My recommendation is download your favorite audio guide. Make a list of a few things that you want to see and map it out. Otherwise, just spend a couple hours and leave. I hit my max at just over two hours, both times I was there. I like Musée d'Orsay better than the Louvre. It's not as busy, and they converted an old railway station into the museum. There are lots of Van Goghs, and these comfy places to rest. Number eight, hike the steps at the Sacre Coeur. Make sure that you climb across the roof all the way to the top. Walking up the steps will be a workout, but take the time to go visit this white Catholic basilica on top of the highest hill in Paris, Montmartre. It's a great place to have a picnic and to see the skyline of Paris. 
Oh, and don't skimp. Pay those extra euros to climb the dome for some awesome views and some beautiful photo ops like this one. Here we are up at the top of the Sakke. You can see the Eiffel Tower off in the distance. Over here somewhere is the Notre Dame. Just a big city. Beautiful view up here. Number nine. Gorge yourself on all the delicious food you can handle. I will let you on my little secret. When you see something that looks good, wherever you are, buy it and eat it. On the last day of my first trip to Paris, I walked around and ate four eclairs in just over an hour. It was well worth it. My favorites are pistachio and raspberry treats. But there are treats for all. If you like chocolate or coffee or whatever you like, they'll have it for you. And if you're there around late April, go to a fruit stand. Find some French strawberries. You will crave them for the rest of your life like I am right now. Number 10, climb to the top of the Arc de Triomphe for some beautiful views of the city and to watch some crazy Paris traffic while you're there. Built in the early 1800s, this triumphal arc took over 30 years to build. Once you're done exploring the Arc de Triomphe, head down the Champs Elysees for some shopping. Here are a few tips for visiting Paris. Buy your tickets in advance. Many of the popular attractions, such as the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre, require tickets, and it's a good idea to buy your tickets in advance, especially if you're visiting during peak season. Be prepared for crowds. Paris is a popular tourist destination and a lot of people live and work there, so you need to be prepared. The most popular attractions can get really crowded, especially during peak seasons. Learn some French. It's helpful to know a few basic phrases if you're planning on visiting. If you're interested, watch this video. Take your time. There's so much to see and do in Paris, so it's important that you take your time and enjoy the city. You're going to be really tempted, but try not to cram too much into your trip or you're just gonna end up feeling rushed. Instead, make a list of all the things that you'd like to see and each day pick one or two. Whatever you don't see, it gives you a great reason to come back. We hope you enjoyed this video about our favorite things to do in Paris. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.